everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today we are going to be looking at setting up our crouch function. Um, to do this we will need to create a blend space. Um, there's a few things that we need to do for the setup. The first of being we need to add in a new variable called is crouching and this is going to be type boolean. So this is kind of like a if, what if statement sort of thing, you know, is if I am crouching, do this. If I'm not crouching, do that kind of thing. And this will basically talk to our Anim Blueprint and tell the Anim Blueprint when to change um, its animation style. So now we've got our blue, our boolean, we can open up our content drawer. Now, there is an Anim Blueprint already for our third person character, um, which we are going to, to use. But for, first of all, let's open up animation, start a blend space, one dimension. Select our female protagonist. Now, I have gone ahead and changed the name of the skeleton. The reason I've done this is because uh, it's a lot easier to um, recognize out of all the skeletons which one is the one we want to use. Next, I am going to rename it to, if we click rename, I'm going to rename it crouch underscore uh, blend space one dimension. You can use a non one dimensional blend space that's for more complex um, crouch systems and movement systems. We're just adding in the basics for now. We can always build upon this down the line. It's just to get the functionality there first. Open it up. Now I have already retargeted my um, animations. If you want me to show you how to do that, I can absolutely show you how to do this. Uh, I might do that in a separate episode because I also need to retarget the animations, um, the bones to fit. Because as you see, it, you'll see it in a minute that it looks right now. But when I add in the crouch, uh, it won't be. So we're going to start with the walk. As you can see, the arms have gone all elongated. Um, um, it doesn't look 100% right. and The shoulders are a bit off. But you can retarget those animations so that it scales correctly. Next thing you want to do on the left hand side is uh, change the horizontal axis to named B named speed. And we want a maximum speed on this uh, of 150. Uh, we don't want it to be as fast as our run. Um, um, and we don't want it to be as fast as our walk either. So about 150, we're going to set our walk to 300 and our run to 600 in the next episode. But for now, 150 should be a good speed for crouch. Save that um, and close. Should be fine now, that should all be working. Open up our third person character, compile, click on the mesh, come to the right hand side and you'll see under animation you'll find the anim class. Now we click the folder so we find it, there it is. Now this is actually a child of our Manny. Um, and in blueprint so anything we change in the Manny blueprint will also automatically change it for our Quinn blueprint so we don't need to do anything in it we can just do it all in here that's the weird thing about Unreal 5 setup I don't know how come they did that but they just chose to do it but because our character is a female protagonist we um, will need to do all those changes in here um, okay, so there's already a bunch of stuff in here. This is mainly for the walking and the jumping and things like that. Um, but we can do it via here. So we need to set up a new variable. Call this, it's going to be a boolean again, and we'll put this is crouching question mark. Once that's done, we can compile. We can go into, on the left hand side, you'll see anim graph just above where we set up the variable. Double tap that, it will open this up. And this is basically our state machines and our locomotion. What's happening here is we have our locomotion set up. This is idle, walk, run, all that stuff. It goes into a locomotion cache. And then we have our main state in here. And this is basically the jump system. So it will always have uh, locomotion as active. But when we tap jump, it will basically 
complete this task until we land on the ground. Next, we want to come out of that. We want to go into locomotion. And we want to pull off from the walk run now downwards to a new state. So pull it down and click add state. We'll call this crouch. And then we want to drag it back. And the reason for this is that the idle, when you push move, it will update should move. Left and right, for example. What we want to do um, is have it so that we need to actually set up something a little bit different for this. We need a crouch. We need a state that is called uh, crouch uh, idle like so um, and then we need to set this up so it goes into each other like so now um, the reason for this is the way they've set up you could set one up that's got the idle walk run all together and just by pressing C it will do the same thing but what we need to do now is we don't need the blend space anymore. What we need to do is um, we just need to add in the uh, animations. Uh, I will maybe set up a brand new animation blueprint the way I set it up, uh, which has everything all together. But this is going to work absolutely fine. So we have our Boolean um, set up. Um, we need to add the should move into this as well. So let's do the crouching first. All we need to do for this is put in is crouching, uh, compile, go back. So that means that when we click the C button, it'll activate crouch and then that'll go into our idle. If we're walking, we press C, we also want to do the same. So we want it to be like so. Uh, if we're moving and should move is correct, it'll kind of basically work out that it should be here is how it'll work out and for this one because we're going into idle we want it to be true that we are um, we should move so compile come out of the locomotion and for the other ones we haven't filled in we're just going to do a not crouch so bring out our crouch is crouching and then add it to not boolean and stick that into there, compile uh, into this one. This one should be, uh, should move not for this one. Uh, so should move not. And then the other one we've got here uh, should be not crouching, is crouching not. And that's just telling it that it's set to no, it's not crouching. Basically, they, 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 Unreal's a bit fancy. They like to give it fancy uh, different meanings, but it, it does mean the same thing. It's not crouching. So with all that set up, we just need to add in the animations now. So crouch idle. Let's find, um, let's just put in crouch. That's the crouch idle we want, like so. And then um, crouch, we want that to be crouch walking like so compile and that is all good so that is now added into our system it should all work correctly there's one thing we need to do on the event graph and that is um, uh, get is crouched from our character and then we want it to set our is crouching question mark like so there we go hook those up that should all correctly work the last thing we want to do now to make sure it all works is add that functionality into our third person character first things first we want to come down to edit at the top there and go to uh, project settings once that opens up, scroll down on the left hand side, you should find input. And then we want to, I've already done it, but you want to set up a new action mapping like so. 
um, add in, call it crouch, find the C key or whatever key you want that you want your crouch to activate with. Um, and then you also, I also put the controller in. So if I ever want to set up like an Xbox controller to my laptop or my computer, I can then use it on that as well. Close that down. You don't need to click any save or anything like that. Right click anywhere where some spaces and type in crouch. We should have the action event there that we've already previously named. And then we want to uh, set our crouch twice. Now there's two things you could do. This is um, down to again personal preference. If I hook these up like so, press and released. When I press it, it'll set uh, crouching to true, and then you'll see the character complete the animation, etc. And when I release that C key, it'll uncrouch. Or you can have it that when you press it, it'll stay crouched, and when you press it again, it'll uncrouch. I'll show you both, but this is um, I, I always like to have it that I press it and it stays crouched. Next thing we want to do is get our um, max walking speed. No, we, what we need to do, sorry, is um, pull off our character movement first. Then we pull out from there and say max walk speed. Uh, I need to set it, sorry. I don't want to get it, I want to set it. S set max walk speed better. We want to get that twice. Um, oh, now... With this, we want to set this one to 150, just like we set it in our blend space. And we want to set this one to 300, which is our walk speed. That way, when we come out of crouch, we, alt we should automatically go into our walk speed uh, of 300. Um, the other thing we want to do in our third person character is now set our max walk speed to um, 300, wherever it might be. Where is it? Let's put in walk. Uh, oh, it's character movement. Sorry, I always do that. Max. Max walk speed crouched. It should be 150. Max walk speed is set to 500. We want to set that to 300. So compile that. And make sure that's ticked so it's true when you press it. Compile like that. There we go. And if we press uh, play now. And we look around we should now walk not run we won't be able to sprint yet but we will set that up and if we click c it's not doing anything at the minute so stop okay after doing a, a little bit of um sort of troubleshooting <laughs> i've basically found out where the issue lied it's where i had um changed this from character so yeah, I've kind of left this now as is, and down here I've added in a different cast here just to get our crouch variable. Um, we can actually use this down the line for a lot of other things like um, other like prone um, things like dodges and changing weapon animations. We can we can basically do all this now uh, via this link here. So, yeah, just don't change this from cast to character. Keep it as get owning actor. And then create a third sequence here and add in the third person character, get player character. Uh, we can pull off get art is crouched and set the crouching there. Uh, I also have left this as is. This is absolutely working fine now. I have no issues with that whatsoever. If we click play now it should in fact work so if i hold the c button down it goes into idle and walking if i'm walking and i hold the c button down it will change to crouch walking so it is working completely fine now that is if you want to hold your crouch button down for your video game i do not so what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to untether this release i'm going to pull off and press again and find a flip flop node there we go and then i'm going to tether that in there and that's all you need to change to ensure you can keep the the crouch position down so if i press c now 
Oh, I've got to click play first. If I press the C button down, I stay in crouch form, I can walk, and it will not undo anything until I press C again. There we go. And that's what I, I prefer it that way. Uh, other people might be different, um, but yeah, that's how I want it. And I've shown you both ways, so you can have it however you like. The I know this video is getting a bit lengthy, but the last thing I want to do is I want to pull up my crouch animations like so. Um, I'm going to click on here and I want to click, I believe, nope. Um, go to the skeleton tree and I want to show rendering options. That's what I want to do. And we're mainly looking for um, Okay, we want to mainly look for um, upper arm stuff. And we basically just want to mess around and change all these to Skellington. So that it kind of goes to the Skellington and not how the animation wants it. That's why everything's looking a little bit elongated. Um, Just keep going down the list of stuff that you want to change. The legs look fine. It's just the arms and stuff like that. Okay, so I changed everything to skeleton apart from the pelvis and the root bone. And as you can see, it looks a million times better. Maybe not perfect, but compared to what it was, just so much better. And if you do that for the other one as well you'll see a total difference in your uh, final product. After going into my crouch walk and looking at it, funnily enough, the whole thing is actually already done. It's saved the um, options I picked for the other one actually to the skeleton, which is a great feature of UE5. You used to have to do it individually, but as you can see, it's automatically done it for me. So amazing. Now, if we press play, uh, we should have a final crouch product which as you can look at the hands it looks so much better so much smoother it looks a lot nicer uh, we can still jump from crouch position which is actually kind of a cool little feature actually I like that I'm gonna leave that as is um, normally I'd stop them from jumping at crouch point but I think that actually looks really cool so now we have crouch uh, we can walk uh, we need to add in sprint and stamina in the next episode and we have a, a working health bar so already you can see things start to slowly come together at such an early point in this game development. Um, I hope you like this. Um, and if you do, leave a little like, consider subscribing. And if there's anything you want to see in a tutorial, please consider uh, leaving a comment and telling me what you want to see. And I'd be happy to try and help. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time. Bye.